My name is Henry, and I'm a certified veterinary technician at Pearl Animal Hospital. And today I want to talk to you guys about one of the number one things that you guys can do at home that impacts your pet's overall health, and that's proper oral care. So we do that through teeth brushing. Um, you can also use dental treats, dental chews. Um, there's a couple of uh, mouth rinses out there. There's a lot of different products that you can use to increase and enhance your pet's oral health at home, but toothbrushing is the number one way to reduce uh, dental disease. So ideally, well, you would be brushing the teeth every day. Now I know that seems like a daunting task, but I assure you, with a little bit of time, practice, and a couple of techniques that I'll demonstrate here, you can end up brushing your dog's teeth in a time period of about 30 to 60 seconds. Once you integrate it into your routine with your dog, it becomes second nature and not only benefits their health overall, but it also strengthens the bond between you and your pet. There's a couple of things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a good um, dental uh, or pet toothbrush. And the one that I like, this one has two, um, here folks, come here, this one has two sides on it. Um, it has a white diamond shape, um, and I like to use this one for almost all pets. The reason for that is, is it gives me a nice wide area of coverage. And there's also a smaller one, but I would only use this for the tiniest of tiny dogs. Um, even in some uh, chihuahuas that are weighing around five pounds, I would use the um, broadside just so that I'm getting nice, good, thorough coverage when I'm brushing those teeth. You're also going to need a good veterinary approved toothpaste. I like the CET Vanilla Mint toothpaste. It's, um, it smells good, it tastes good to the dogs, they seem to like it. Um, there's a lot of different flavors out there. You can get um, chicken, peanut butter. Um, just for me personally, I like the vanilla mint because I like Bogey's breath to smell like I brushed his teeth. Now, it takes a little bit of training to get your dog to um, tolerate this. And when I first started with Bogey, I started with just putting the toothpaste on my finger and letting him lick it off, just so that he could get used to that taste. Um, what I also started doing was getting him used to having his mouth and his muzzle touched and getting him in the position that I was going to have him seated in for when I brush his teeth. Now, instinctively, you may want to uh, brush your pet's teeth by facing towards them, but if I were to come at you in this direction with a toothbrush, that can be a little bit intimidating. So what I found that works great for Bogey and I is if I have him sitting with his face away from me, looking in the same direction that I am, and I can actually come from behind and brush those teeth. When I do that, I'm also using my body to um, act as kind of a barrier wall, and that also acts as an additional aid when I'm trying to hold him for his teeth brushing. To increase um, his compliance, what I did was I started brushing his teeth prior to mealtimes. Now, I know this seems counterintuitive, but now Bogey knows that before he eats, he gets his teeth brushed. And he's happy, I'm happy, and his veterinarian is happy when he comes in for his annual checkups at the um, slow level that the plaque and tartar is starting to accumulate. So we'll go ahead and um, brush his teeth now. I've already pre-wet the toothbrush, and I'm going to use a small amount of the um, toothpaste. Uh, a good pea size amount is more than adequate. Alright, so then I'm going to have, come here folks, come here buddy, sit, good boy. So then I'm going to have Bogey sit in front of me, facing away from me, just like so. So I've got his body pulled back in towards me so that I, he can't really back up, he can't really go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you know it's coming. So then I'm going to take his toothbrush and I'm going to actually insert it in between the cheek and the gum, like so. And once you get it into that pouch, Gentle pressure on the bridge of the nose and a couple of passes. Now you want to angle upward so that you're getting the gum line of the upper molars and you want to angle downward so that you're also getting the gum line of the lower molars. We'll move forward a little bit and we'll get those premolars and we'll just give them a quick little break. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the lip and we're going to pay close attention to these canine teeth. Those are really important teeth, so we want to make sure that we're getting all of that plaque that's building up right at the gum line of those canines. We'll also go ahead and brush his incisors, so those are the small teeth in the front, and we do that just by gently lowering the lip. Good job, Bobby. And then we'll give him a minute to rest. We would repeat that process on the other side. So that takes care of the outer surfaces of the teeth. 
Another problem area that we often find um, significant gingival pockets, we'll notice that the outer teeth are looking great. Minimal um, calculus buildup on the surface of the tooth that we can see. But when we get these pets under anesthesia for their dental cleanings, we find pretty big um, pockets and disease accumulation in the roof of their mouth, so the palatal surface. So we want to try and get in there and brush the teeth on the, um, the side that's on the roof of the mouth as well. So what you can do um, in order to do that as you're going to have to move a little quickly because this is the part that most dogs really don't like is you're going to take their upper lip and you're going to fold it around their upper teeth and when you do that they instinctively open their mouth because they don't want to bite down and bite their own lip all it takes is a couple of quick passes like that so we'll go ahead and do it again good job so we're just pushing down on his lip and that causes him to open and a couple of passes, just like so. Once you get that into a routine, it's really quick and it's really easy. And you'll be amazed at how much that quick 30 to 60 seconds of daily toothbrushing with your pet can really reduce the amount of time that they have to spend under anesthesia during their uh, annual dental cleanings, as well as the number of teeth that need to be extracted due to disease processes. If you have any questions or uh, comments about teeth brushing, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to email us at ask underscore us at pearlanimalhospital.com. Thanks a lot, you guys, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.